Bunch of course, Tommy, it's your boy. Back again, the one and only Keith Allen, your motivation guy. The one who believes in you. Come on. The one who is rooting for you. The one who wants to get you fired up and so motivated, man. You feel like you can do anything, not only in this game, but also in life. So keep going. Make sure you guys sub to the channel, man, so you can not miss one video that we got coming your way. You know, today, man, I'm here to bring you guys the latest and greatest tips to really make you guys the best Fortnite player you can possibly be. And so with Chapter 3 out, you know, players all over the world are discovering new things about it every single day, man about new mechanics and POIs and the loot pool. But, you know, one mechanic that really seems to be on everybody's mind like right now is how does sliding fit into the mix? After all, like other games have sliding as well, so it shouldn't be too hard to figure out. But the truth is like sliding is way more interesting once you combine it with the rest of the Fortnite mechanics and can lead to just some more interesting plays. So today's video, we're going to be learning about how sliding is going to change Fortnite for ever and the best ways that you can use it to your advantage you guys ready for this well get my favorite candy y'all what's that it's that bunch of crunch come on and let's get this going you know, sliding is a brand new mechanic featured in Fortnite Chapter 3. So what exactly does it do? Well, by just holding on to the crouch button, man, while running, it allows players to get an increased form of movement with the lower hitbox as they slide forward. It's crazy. You know, sliding has, you know, many uses ranging from covering distance quickly to W King your opponents. It's just versatile and it just really adds many new strategies and exploits to Fortnite. Since this is a very new mechanic, we're still in the experimentation phase where anything is possible. Like we don't even even have any sliding courses on creative quite yet however as we discover new ways man it can be used it really just gives us an idea of how we should be training this new mechanic and so with each passing day we're going to be seeing players just trying new and interesting tricks so how do we master sliding all right good question let's start with one of the more basic forms as well as something that you probably don't even know about yet you know if there is any place that sliding shines the most it's on a nice slope chapter three's map is filled with plenty of biomes from grasslands tropical islands a hard winter lands and even perilous canyons. You know, it's just safe to say that there's a little bit of everything for players to explore. Now, if only we had the ultimate slope, a volcano, of course, like, that'd be cool. Aside from biomes, we also have the surface, and this time, we have plenty of high grounds and slope, which complement the new sliding mechanic perfectly. Okay, so when a slide is used on a slope, you don't lose momentum. Instead, you continue to slide until your character reaches a flat surface and which is gonna slow down. This is perfect, guys, for when you wanna get up and close and personal with an opponent for some aggressive takedowns. Our slopes are also a great way to really cover distance and even escape the storm when the occasion arises. This can be really useful for rotation. However, slopes aren't the only way to build your momentum. Like your glider is also an excellent way to do this and you're gonna see the result when you touch to the ground. For this to work, you need to start holding your slide key as soon as you deploy your glider. Next, you don't just wanna let yourself gently glide down. You need to be moving forwards as you descend. If you do this correctly, guys, you're gonna hit the ground sliding at a boosted speed as if you were sliding down a slope. Not only that, the momentum still applies even if you're landing on a flat surface. This strat can really be quite useful, not just for the initial deployment, but if you ever end up redeploying using a launch pad. If you're interested in more interesting tips such as these, then you gotta visit ProGuys.com by clicking on the link below. There you can find expert level coaching that's gonna help you whether you're a beginner or a seasoned pro. We guarantee that you're gonna see improvement in your Fortnite skills. All right guys, so editing while sliding is an interesting new concept that has surfaced due to the new update. Crouching has always been used to really make yourself a smaller target to hit and giving you a chance at taking down your opponents. You know, the same idea really goes for sliding. Since sliding makes you a smaller target without compromising your speed while doing so, like using it while tarping is going to make you harder to hit in the late game. So during these times, like when you need to really keep up the pace and outrun the storm circle as well as the high skill players that are also trying to take you down, like every bit of help that keeps you out of harm's way is a welcome sight. You know, sliding opens the door for high speed combat, which when mastered allows you to take down enemies quickly while also making yourself a harder to hit target. Normally, like the only real option for increasing your movement speed would be to get that chili pepper effect, which can be granted by items such as peppers or spicy fish. But sliding has given us another alternative for when we don't have those items in our inventory. Like for you to master sliding combat, you need to work on your aim. And so with the way chapter three is built, aiming is just becoming more and more important. And the last thing that you wanna do is just waste your slide by missing all your shots. So the two things you need to do while trying to land your shots is grow accustomed to controlling the direction of your slide and really keep your crosshairs on your opponent while moving at these increased speeds. All right, remember guys, this isn't just a faster sensitivity. Here, and I mean like right here, your whole character is moving so you can just, you know, really get a 
accustomed to the quickly changing range and adapt to it. Sometimes during combat, you're gonna need to hightail it out so you can just really lick your wounds and just make a comeback later down the line. And so during these cases, sliding can be your savior since you can easily create distance between you and your enemies as long as you have an inclination. One useful way players are already starting to use sliding is for retakes. Like with sliding, you can get that extra boost in speed that can really put you in just the right position and claim away, you know, before your opponent even can. It's really the perfect tool for repositioning yourself during a fight. Sliding is also an excellent way of just breaking through an opponent's box while giving them just very little time to pull up a wall again. To do this, you need to start off by just either building a reverse ramp or just finding a pre-built slope that just so happens to be by the wall that you make your punch through. Next, you wanna deal enough damage to the wall so that you know it's gonna come down with very little effort. Finally, guys, you wanna slide down the ramp and punch through as you approach the wall. If you guys do this right, man, not only are you gonna be able to penetrate your opponent's defenses, but you can also use the momentum to get behind your opponent at the same time. And so this is gonna give you guys an excellent advantage over your enemy and might even give you guys what you need to win the fight. Speaking of retakes and box fights, here are some interesting tips. With new mechanics, of course, comes new forms of exploiting the controls to really get the most out of the action. So what exactly do we mean by exploit? Well, let me tell you this. In some cases, guys, such as the double pump, players could time the time, the fire rate of the shotgun, and really compare it to the time it takes to just pull out a second pump, which is ready to fire. These few seconds can make the difference in combat, so you know you see a lot of players exploiting the pullout time to their advantage. Sliding is no different, guys. In this new scenario, we have to take a look at an animation canceling in order to increase our travel speeds. Right, you know, rather than just let your slide play out one way to get a little boost in speed, it's really just a slide, and before you start to slow down, hit the jump button to cancel your slide. Now, before you touch the ground, slide once more to keep the momentum. Another exploit that you can really do is getting your builds on the other side of a wall. All right, so in most cases, placing down a wall, that means you shouldn't be able to get a wall on the other side unless you just walk around it and have it in your sights. However, with sliding, you can actually get builds such as ramps on the other side without having to walk around. And so in cases of box fighting or just even build battling, like this could be an excellent way of just giving your opponent a scare. To do this, you need to slide downwards and then place your build as soon as you touch the wall. One way of doing this would be to slide down a ramp towards your enemy's box. However, this also works if you place down a comb. So all you really need, man, is an inclination, and after that, it's really just up to you. Now, if you wanna be a cheeky player, looking for a new trick, all right, we got one just for you guys, here we go. With sliding, you no longer have to be on the passenger side of a car to shoot your gun. Surprisingly enough, getting out of your car and just sliding also builds momentum. And so this allows you a brief moment where you could just whip out your weapon, do some damage, and use the momentum of your slide, keep up with your vehicle, and just get back in it. That's crazy, right? All right, so for more tricks like these, do not forget to check out our coaches here at Pro Guys for more help and mastering the competitive meta. All right, so due to the limited uses of crouching in the previous meta, you might not have just even had the function key bind to really accommodate the new changes. You most likely crouch spammed, but now with sliding doing this, it's not really quite possible since they share the same key. But with the added usefulness of sliding, you're gonna definitely find yourself using in this new mechanic a lot more. And so because of this, all right, we highly recommend creating a second keybind specifically for sliding. You know, find somewhere that you can just have easy access to it, but just keep it separate from your standard crouch. Since crouching and sliding share the same keybind, like making yourself grow accustomed to separate keybind, it's gonna make it so much easier for your muscle memory to adapt to really tapping to a key to really crouch and holding a key to slide. All right, unless Epic just decides to split the keybinding later down the line, I mean, this is your solution for now. Another recommendation is to lower the new slide setting to decrease the amount of time that you need to hold for the slide to commence. And so this is going to make it easier to slide at a moment's notice rather than just wait for it to just really kick in during high stakes situations such as fights or editing. But of course, tell me where you at your motivation guy. That's right. I am back. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Man, I'm so proud of you. You got to keep up though. Don't be disappointed in yourself. Don't be hard on yourself. You have to stay positive. Keep that positive mindset. And if you do that, man, anything is possible, but you got to believe in yourself. If you guys like the video, make sure you subscribe to the channel and uh, connect with me on my Instagram if you guys can at your motivation guy we'll see you in the next one peace